guys i've been getting a lot of stuff on that last video that i made about the gsxr fixing your spark issues this is for like 97 to 2000 gsxr 600 750 probably a bunch of other ones i'm not really sure but a lot of people are not getting spark and i mean it's pretty easy to diagnose it there's a couple of things that could have you going um one the first thing to check is the pulse generator um that would be this right here where's the plug-in yeah so the plug-in's actually over here by the battery it's a black and green wire the wire runs all the way along and down it's right here it runs all the way down to this side it is underneath one of them covers um, you can test that with the voltmeter, and that's the first thing to do. If you got that, the second thing to do is to check this. Um, the ignitions in GSXRs have a resistor built into them so that when you turn the ignition on, it sends like 8.5 volts to the ECU. Um, if the resistor burns out, a lot of times it'll send nothing or send 12 volts to the ECU, and it's like an anti-theft thing, so it, it won't start. Um, if you've got signal coming from the pulse generator and your coils and everything are good, the first thing I would check would be this. On my bike, the resistor burnt out, so I have it all wired. This is actually for the tail light because... That didn't work either, but this wire right here, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but it's an orange wire with a red stripe. Let's see if I can get it out so you can see it. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be that wire. You can see the red. There's also not to get it confused with the thick orange wire but it's going to be the skinny orange wire with the red tracer right there. That one. So if you cut that wire, which I actually did it on the ignition side, if you cut that wire and you run like a really low uh, voltage LED or uh, EL wire works, you can buy that on Amazon, um, then your bike will start. It took me forever to figure that out, and I've helped out a few people with the same issue. The other way to fix it is buy a new ignition, but they've got some stupid, like, special screws. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right in that hole, there's some kind of security screw Torx thing that I don't have, so I went the route of rewiring it. But I hope that helps people out. Um, if anybody else has any extra questions or any more information, message me or let me know. Um, if this video helps you, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like it, subscribe for more. And that's it.